you. I'm Andy, and I'm a rebel fighting for my freedom. I am a saver. I don't believe on throwing stuff away if I can use it later on down the road. Maybe that's why I'm different than most people. I'm Becky, and I'm a housewife. If there's ever a big disaster, we could probably live at least a year without needing for anything. I'm Russ. Andy is my dad. And Becky is my stepmom. I would never call Becky a hoarder. I would never call my dad a hoarder, because they don't like that. And I know this, but yes, they're hoarders. <laughs> I'm Amanda. My parents are hoarders. One bathroom is filled with stuff. Can't even get in it. The bedrooms are floor to ceiling, front to back, filled with stuff. Lots of books, DVDs. Just a hot mess. I would like a house with more cupboard space and more closets, because these houses is zilch on storage. In the living room, the first thing you walk over is a TV. I was taking out a TV that just never got outside. It doesn't bother me to climb over it every day, not at all. You know, you get used to it, you adapt. It's like big explosion. Like if you if you touch it or look at it funny, stuff would just fall down. Damn it! I have this stuck way back in here. He'll walk past something and it'll fall or pop out on its own. Oh. He tells everybody don't step on anything. That's my medicine bag, and I don't know how it got there. It's like it's not my fault. You're the one who put it on the floor. I know where to step, and I consider myself having a good sense of balance, like a mountain goat. My name is Sergeant Davis. I'm the sergeant of the code enforcement unit of the Marysville Police Department. We entered through the front door, and all I could see was a wall of garbage. There was no kitchen, no living room, no bathroom, uh, no bedrooms, just garbage. I'm here today, pay my weekly visit with them and see what kind of progress they're doing. Do I hate Cop Davis? You damn right I hate Cop Davis. Get out of here. Right. Becky, is there something I can do to help you folks? We're not going to go away. You understand that, right? Yeah. Get the hell away from me. Well, Don't even talk to me. Get the hell away from me. We're all here, and we've assembled a lot of professionals to help you and Becky. I want us to try to do what we can so that your dad keeps his home and he and Becky don't go to jail. Officer Davis, do you have anything to add to what we've said so far? I think it's time to begin and uh, work our way towards compliance. I think. OK. So how about if we all get to work? We'll get it going. All right? All right. Yeah, all books say it. You want to say it say. all the books? I, I don't know if it's Dad's or Becky's. It could, it could be his stuff. It could be her stuff. Can you take this down? Take it down. My name is Kevin. I'm the neighbor of Andy and Becky. I'm happy to help, as are some of the other neighbors. I've, I'm really impressed with how many neighbors have showed up. Gotta go. Crash. It's gotta go. Okay. Just like that. Thank you very much. Okay, it's gotta go like that. This guy looks like he's seen better days. Yeah, let's good job, Andy. Go with it. Yes, to the tables. Out the door. This one's heavy. Heavy. Your safety is more important than anything in this pile. Delicious. This is one of the most dense cards. I've ever been in because when you pull things, it's like an avalanche. Really bad. We have the K9 
kitchen done, bathroom clear, people are working on the hallway, and he gave us permission to clean the laundry room. Um, what's the update? So we need to get them another exit out of the house. They have to have another egress. That front door is the only way in and out of this house. Excellent. We could, we could carry into this. We could get this done in no time. Yeah. All right. Sound good? So you yep. open the door, Russ? OK. Yeah. <laughs> Close it. Close it all. The fridge is gone, and we're not going to open it. So can you duct tape it? It smells like sweet butt juice. I don't even know. Just yes, dump it. You got a train load, a boxcar full. Dump it. Just say, dump it. Over the course of the last few days, there's been this coming together. There's been making peace, uh, building friendships and connections, which has expanded out to the community as well, which is remarkable. I have never called Sergeant Davis Sergeant Davis. He's always been Cop Davis to me. <laughs> no. That's out. He is Sergeant Davis. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Davis, I'm sorry for what I've done and said and what I thought about you. I accept your apology, and I also apologize to you if I uh, ever said anything uh, that uh, was incorrect uh, or uh, in any way offended you. Sergeant. Andy. It was nice to to hear Andy apologize and, and to be able to speak civilly with him uh, for the first time in all these months. Sergeant Davis is a friend of mine. We can actually all four stand in one room. But at least they have access from the front door. They have access in here. They can actually start cleaning the kitchen, get the kitchen used. They have a way to get out of the back of the house through the garage. Right. There's still a lot to do in the garage. We've created a good living space. I think they can function normally. I can't speak on what's inside of the bedrooms. They still have a lot to do. This house is technically, at this point, is really not livable. But they've already been living in this when it was much worse than this. Mika, what do you think? Where do we, where do we stand right now with all this whole process? I got word from my crew that 40 trucks left the premises, and a total of 160 tons were taken off of this property. 160 tons. I can't fault anybody who allows 160 tons of trash, recycle, and disposable items to leave their property. I'm very proud of Andy and Becky, and though they have a long way to go, they've gone leaps and bounds above what I anticipated for this week. Well, you've done a great job. 160 tons is a lot of stuff that got hauled out of here. The estimate is it's probably 60 plus more tons that's got to get out of here at some point, and um, we want to work with you on that. As of right now, technically, you're not in compliance still. You still have ways to go, but you are so much closer. I'd like to add something, Andy. Um, uh, in early January, we had a brief meeting, and we talked about coming into compliance, and if we could not, that the city was going to move towards the abatement portion and all that stuff. Well, I, I just want to put your mind at ease that uh, that is not, no longer a concern uh, as of today. We're going to continue to work with you folks and, and uh, try to move this thing forward. City officials, you just don't find city officials as you as you poor. Um, and the rest of these people, their hearts are just tremendous. This is such a clean house. <laughs> I tried. Hi, thanks for being a fan of hoarders. And subscribe to AE for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.